Hello everyone, this is Parish Black of the Inner City Crusaders, and Parish Black also known as Parish the Prophet. Today is October 7, 2011, a Friday night time, 7.50 p.m. This video is about the Wall Street protesters, and the reason why I'm making this video about the Wall Street protesters is because I remembered that I had a dream about riots breaking up here in New York City, and I believe I had the dream in September 12th. Well, in any case, I made a video about my dream and I posted a video in my YouTube channel called Captain Parish in September, September 14, 2011. Um, when I became aware of the Wall Street protesters, I knew then that the dream I had in September 12th will come to pass sooner than later. Okay, so, um, well, in any case, let me show you guys the YouTubers the video I made about the coming riots in New York City. Okay, the name of my video that I made in that I posted September 14, 2011 is called Parish's Dream, The Coming New York Riots Last Days. Crusaders, Parish Black, also known as Parish the Prophet. Today is September 14, 2011, a Wednesday morning time, 7.27 a.m. I would like to speak about a dream which was given to me two days ago. This dream was about a riot and an American city. The first thing I recall about this dream was that I found myself inside a post office. I believe this post office was located in Queens, New York. And inside this post, post office I seen a very well known, uh, I guess, minister. I seen um, Bob Larson and his wife inside this post office. They'd seen me as well. I said hello to them, and they both have left the post office. Then I noticed that I had a piece of mail in my hand, and I also realized that I had a book bag with me. And then the next thing that took place in this dream was that I began to see this post office become crowded. And the people that came inside this post office, in my interpretation, were black foreigners. They were black Africans. And they were West Indians. And then became more crowded and crowded. And then I believe a security guard inside the post office uh, told the people that's more or less just packing in this post office that the post office can't handle a lot of people all at once. So, um, the crowd of people did not say anything to the security person. And, the po and I also realized that the security guard took notice that a mob was forming inside this facility. And he left. And I seen fear upon his face. And then more blacks came in and more and more people and I had to leave because I also detected a mob was, was forming inside his post office there. and um, so I left and then while I was outside in front of the post office I said to myself, wow, I forgot my book bag, my book bag is still inside the post office and then all of a sudden all these people came out the post office and they were rioting in the streets and before I left this dream, I had the impression that um, an inner city riot here in America will be will begin um, pretty soon. And the people that will stop the riots, in my interpretation, will be black foreigners, um, Africans, and 
West Indians because if you remember the riots in England, I uh, believe a month and a half ago, um, the people in that country uh, West Indians and Africans and other foreigners. And also, I think two years ago, uh, there were Africans that started a riots in France. So you have Africans that started a riots in France. And you have, I guess, Africans and West Indians started a riot in England. Then I believe you will have rioters that will start acting up here in New York. Uh, via uh, West Indians and Africans and Queens. And Queens is known to be uh, an area which is which has a very high population of foreign foreigners in there. And I'm just showing this little page um, because here in New York we had a something called 1991 the Crown Heights riots. And in Crown Heights, there's a heavy population of people from the Caribbean. And this riot was caused because of this little boy who was ran over by a car. So you see, this is what was going on in my area. More or less, Crown Heights is not too far away. It's more or less, it's a 15 minutes walk from Bethlehem Stuyvesant. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. So I'm predicting that the inner city riots here, especially here in New York City, will begin in Queens. Okay everyone, thank you for watching this video. May the Lord bless you and protect you and have a fantastic day. And this is a short video about what's What's going on in Wall Street? Beating back protesters at an ongoing mass demonstration in New York in the biggest event yet in the three-week-long rally called Occupy Wall Street. It's also reports of pepper spray being used on the crowds and numerous arrests at the rally. Thousands have been taking part in the sustained protest to demand social and economic change. Activists say they're fed up with breaking their backs at work while Wall Street bankers' bonuses keep flowing. For more on this one, joined by RT's Marina Portnoy, live in New York. Hello, Marina. So how did the protest protest managed to turn ugly. Well, Matt, as you mentioned, uh, this protest got very ugly. Before it did, about 10 to 20,000 demonstrators were out on the street. But from what we're being told, mayhem actually broke out when uh, the crowds, part of the crowds that formed in Lower Manhattan by Wall Street, surged past barricades around the New York Stock Exchange, and officers moved in to contain the protesters. From what we saw on the video, uh, officers swatted protesters with batons okay so you guys the youtubers you guys must really watch parish prophecies part one through five because i know that god has given me visions of the future and if you want to know in advance what's going to happen to america and to the rest of the world, all you have to do is take your fingers and put your fingers on the keyboard that's connected to a computer that's tied into the internet and just punch up Parrish's prophecies. And you'll see everything that I've seen and things I've seen are things that will come to pass very soon. So I just want to thank you for watching my video. Pray for me as I pray for you and have a fantastic night. Take care, everyone.